Hey guys, you're here with Bo. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at the market, which seems to have picked up. We're going to try and work out why that's actually happened. We're also going to have a look at some news around uh, the JP Morgan and banking sector FUD. We're going to have a look at China and what China is doing with, it, with its exchanges, as well as um, some other interesting information about um, cryptocurrency payment cards. So stick around and let's get into it. Okay guys, looking at the market, wow. Wow, we've had $22 billion come back into the market within basically 12 hours. So on my live feed last night, um, I was watching this with my community and I think it got as low as $103 billion. So the market has surged in a very, very, very short amount of time. Um, I hope you're one of those people that got in at the low prices. It was certainly a risky time to get in, but the experience, the more experienced people and the people that can handle that risk um, would have really benefited from that. So we can see Bitcoin up 12%, which is huge for Bitcoin given its market cap. We've got Ethereum up by 12%, Bitcoin Cash up by 10%, um, Dash, Nem and Monero all up around 15% on average. Um, even NEO is up, which is surprising because the Chinese-based cryptocurrencies are, are generally what I would see as the higher risk uh, cryptocurrencies to invest in at the moment. So it's Stratus up 19%, Waves up 17%, um, MadeSafeCoin up 25%, which is huge. So guys, all around optimism, we've had a lot of new money come back into the market. Well, not new money, probably a lot of existing money come back in. Um, let's try and work out why that's actually happened and have a look at the news. Okay guys, so this bit of news here seems to directly correlate with the increase in the market in the last 12 hours. So um, China has given a couple of exchanges, um, Huobi and OKCoin, an extra month to stay in operation before they have to shut down. So originally they were looking at all exchanges in China shutting down by September 30th, but China has given these two exchanges an extra month because they didn't offer the ICO services, um, which was originally what this whole China FUD was about, was about shutting down ICOs. So basically, as soon as that news has been released, the market has picked up, um, which just goes to show how reactive the market is to news, specifically news coming out of China. So um, personally, I believe we'll probably see a steady increase in the value um, of the market in general, but I don't think we're gonna have huge growth um, up to the all-time high of 178 billion until we get official news coming out of China about how they're gonna regulate ICOs, how they're gonna regulate exchanges, and how, how China in, in, um, in particular can move on from this and start to um, uh, abide by those regulations to start getting back into cryptocurrencies again. So the second article today um, is by Money Morning Australia, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite Bitcoin news news outlets and the heading of the article is is it bitcoin hunting season now we went over this in my live stream last night but the article just goes on to say um basically uh make a note of how it seems that all the the fear uncertainty and doubt from these major banks are coming in at one time essentially it, it almost feels as if it's a coordinated attack now one of the things i just want to point out to you guys which is very very interesting is um, we obviously had the CEO of JP Morgan, which is Jamie Dimon, come out basically calling Bitcoin fraud and comparing it, comparing it to tulip mania, which is ridiculous. Um, but what I wanted something to point out to you guys, which is very interesting, is two executives of JP Morgan within six months of each other, back in 2014 and 2015, left JP Morgan for cryptocurrencies. So the first one is Paul Camp. Now, Paul Camp left the firm um, to become the CFO of Circle, which is a digital um, currency wallet company. So here we go, here's the article right here from back in 2014. Now the second one is Blythe Masters, who was um, the head of global commodities for JP Morgan, left in March 2015 to become the CEO of Digital Asset Holdings, a company looking to use Bitcoin technology to make trading more efficient for financial institutions. And here we go here, here is um, digital asset holdings. So guys, that's just a bit of interesting information. And like I said in my live stream last night, I'd love to hear Jamie Dimon's thoughts on those two executives that left JP Morgan for cryptocurrencies a couple of years ago. For the last article today, um, more attempts to bring e-commerce to world's two billion unbanked. So it goes into how the rise of um, cryptocurrency debit cards such as 10X and Monaco um, are starting to change the way 
businesses can actually accept cryptocurrencies by um, the instantaneous conversion of that cryptocurrency to fiat, both allowing the user to use uh, cryptocurrencies and the vendor to receive money as they normally would if it was traditional fiat currency. So it goes into um, how a few companies such as Oversoft, Steam, uh, Newegg and Adika um, are, are changing buyers experience by um, signing up with BitPay. Now BitPay does the same thing where someone can pay in a cryptocurrency, it instantaneously trans, uh, basically transfers that to fiat currency for the vendor, basically allowing them to set, accept Bitcoin and different cryptocurrencies without having to set up the wallets um, and to actually accept that, that cryptocurrency themselves. So really interesting stuff and it goes into how there's another startup company um, in addition to 10X and Monaco looking at offering a multi-currency debit card. So here we have Centra. Um, I haven't looked into it in detail but it is interesting to see another card um, coming out. Looks like it's had a, a fair bit of um, a fair bit of media. And look, at the end of the day, guys, there will be room for multiple cards. I mean, I love 10X. I'm, I'm very bullish on 10X and I'm a big fan. Um, but at the end of the day, at the moment, you've got Visa, you've got MasterCard, you've got Amex, you've got all these different credit cards. So I think there will be room for multiple debit cards in the future. So at the end of the day, it's a good thing because it brings more people into cryptocurrencies and it brings it into more, um, allows for, for more mainstream adoption. So that's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, like and leave a comment. Um, by all means, add suggestions to what you think I should do in the future. Um, the suggestions that get the most likes on those comments will be the ones that I cover. And congratulations to all of those that got in at a good time last night as well. It was very risky, but as we can see, it looks like some optimism is starting to return. And hopefully this will start to lead to a healthier market in the future. So thanks guys and see you next time.